Hi friends. So in uh, this question, it says that the uh, you have to find out percentage increase. Now this is a new thing. Percentage increase in the area of a triangle. So increase in the area of a triangle if its each side is doubled. What does this mean? There are two three things which we must know here. First of all, let us crack what is percentage increase. Okay. Let's say you had hundred rupees. Okay, and let's say you have hundred rupees. And now you got hundred rupees from someone else, so now it is doubled. So you now have two hundred rupees. Okay, so what is the increase here? Increase. We are talking about increase. So increase is of only about hundred rupees, right? You had hundred. There is an increase of hundred, and now you have two hundred, right? So what is this increase on the original one? Is what is asked for. So if you see, what percentage is this increase? Hundred. On original that was hundred into hundred. That is, it is hundred percent increase. Okay, so if you double anything, you have hundred percent increase. Okay, take, let's take another example. Let's say you had twenty pens. Let's say you have twenty pens and someone gives you five more pens. Okay, so now you have twenty five pens. Okay, so what's the increase? Increase is five. This is increase. So increase percentage. Increase percentage will be nothing but increase. How much increase was there divided by on what was the original value? So this was in this case it is twenty. So on twenty you got an increase of five multiplied by hundred. Okay, so this is five upon twenty into hundred. That is twenty five percent. So you got twenty five percent increase. Okay, so so if you add five on to twenty, so this is. Twenty-five percent increase. Now there are two things. One is increase by, and there is something called increased to. Please understand. So twenty was increased by twenty-five percent to get you twenty-five. Okay. Now this the same thing could be said as twenty was increased. To one twenty five percent. Why? Because one twenty five percent of twenty is equal to twenty five. Okay, so please be careful. So increased by twenty five percent. Twenty twenty was increased by twenty five percent is twenty five, and twenty was increased to one twenty five percent two. So final point is one twenty five percent of twenty, so which is twenty five. So in this case again, you can find out. The increase percentage or increase value was five. Okay, so hence please be careful. Increased to and increased by. Okay, now let's solve this problem. Now, how to start this? So let us say we'll say since there are no numerals involved, so many people get confused. But do not worry. Let's say side length is not given, right? So draw a triangle without fear. Let's say this is A B C a triangle. Let's say we don't know the sides. Not not a big deal. So let's say the sides were A B C. I can at least name them. Now they are saying the sides are doubled. So A becomes two A, B becomes two B, and C becomes two C, right? So a new triangle. Let me draw another triangle which should look at least double this size. So hence it is A, B, C again. So hence this side is now two B. Let me call this as A dash, B dash, C dash. So this is two B, two A, and two C, right? Now let us find out delta one. So delta one. Let's say the area of delta one is this, and let us say delta two is area of this triangle. Okay. So you can write this. Let's say delta one is equal to area of triangle ABC. Correct. Which is and delta two is nothing but area of triangle A dash B dash C dash. Now let's find out delta one first. So delta one is equal to under root by Heron's formula, s s minus a s minus b s minus c. Okay, this is delta one. Now for delta two, let us first find out s semi perimeter for this. So semi perimeter for this will be two a plus two b plus two c upon two, which is nothing but a plus b plus c. Isn't it? Now this I am calling it as capital S. So A plus B can be written as two small s, where s is the s is 
where a small s is semi perimeter of perimeter of triangle ABC. Okay, so please remember first relation we got capital S is equal to two small s. Now for the you know the same bigger triangle A dash B dash C dash. Now let us find out. Let me do it here. Now S is known which is equal to two small s. What is capital S minus two A? Is it? This will be the S capital S minus two A. The you know uh, for this the side length is two A, so hence capital S minus two A, which can be written as two small s minus two A, which can be written as two times small s minus A. Correct. Similarly, S minus two B. And why am I doing S minus two B? Because for the next bigger triangle, the side length has changed to two B. Hence, I am writing that. And so hence it will be nothing but two small s minus two b, which is equal to two times s minus b. Similarly, the third factor two two uh, c will be equal to two small s minus two c, which is equal to two s minus c. So hence delta two, that is the area of triangle A dash B dash C dash, is equal to capital S into capital S minus two a. Into capital S minus two B into capital S minus two C, which is equal to under root two S into two times S minus A. So now we will be using these, these, and these to replace the above form in the above formula. So two S minus B and two times S minus C. So if you see, there are four twos inside. So two twos can be brought out, right? No. Because this is nothing but two to the power four, s s minus a, s minus b, s minus c, which is equal to now four. So two to the power four. If you take out the square root, so it will be two square. That is. So hence I am writing four directly. So four under root s times s minus a times s minus b, s minus c. Now if you notice, what is this? S minus a, S minus b, S minus c. We have just found out here. This is delta one, right? The original area. So hence four times delta one. And what was this? This was nothing but delta two is equal to four times delta one. That that means that if you double, if sides are doubled, this is a learning. So please remember this also. If sides are doubled, then area becomes Four times of original original area. This is a very important insight, isn't it? If you double the sides, you will get the area four times the original value. So, guys, what is the increase now? Increase in area is nothing but you are saying increase in area will be nothing but delta two minus delta one, the final area minus original one. Now what is delta two? We got delta four delta one and minus delta one is nothing but three delta one, isn't it? So this is the increase. This is the increase. So hence, what will be the increase percentage? Increase percentage, as we discussed earlier, will be the increase over the original value into hundred. So in this case, it is three delta one the increase. Divided by original one was delta one, and into hundred. So if you see delta one, delta one gets cancelled. So it is three hundred percent. Okay, so three hundred percent will be the increase in the area if you double the sides of a triangle.